Namaste, viewers. Welcome to Jaipur Dialogue USA. And wanted to tell you that I'm glad to be back after a break again. Uh, I had gone to India for a very specific purpose for the United Consciousness event that we had organized in Ujjain. Had the wonderful privilege of Darshan of Mahakal. And that's a separate experience altogether. But just wanted to tell you something very interesting about that conference. Uh, it was attended by more than 600 people and over a period of two and a half days. And there were more than 40 foreign yoga, meditation and spirituality practitioners. Very qualified, very powerful group of people. And one thing that emerged, that spirituality was not a mushy, mushy, soft item that makes people weak in reality. When you achieve the status of uh, spiritual thinking, you become strong in your mind. And when you become strong in your mind, your commitment towards things improve and they become better. Remember, it's the strength of mind that makes us who we are. Most successful people in the world have been remarkably strong in their mind and their commitment thereby to do things. I will do a full conversation on that later. But today I wanted to talk to you as I return to the US is the way this country, my country of today, is looking very weak and in a real mess. Why do I say that? It is a sense of disappointment that, you know, at the moment, you are looking at a very tragic scenario that Christmas celebrations which are going on and Christmas holidays has come about and day after tomorrow on Monday, it is Christmas vacation. People are disrupting Christmas celebrations in many parts of this country. That's remarkably sad. And these are done by Hamas-driven Palestinian supporters in this part of the world. Guess what? Nobody disrupted anybody else's religious observations, right? But Christian, Christian celebration of Christmas is being disrupted. This also comes on the back of a very tragic event when the, when the, uh, when the what do you call, uh, this temple, Swami Narayan Temple in Newark in California was vandalized by Khalistani elements. Strong statements have been issued, but it throws up a very important part. The extreme elements of Khalistan and Islam, they are hell-bent on disrupting yours and mine religious celebrations. And in a country that practices freedom of religion, and then they cry about anti-Khalistan or Islamophobia. This comes in the back of the way democracy is being treated in America by certain groups of people. So look at it this way. We have a completely broken border. 200,000 plus people are coming every month. It is a record breaking uh, break of border in which people are walking in the country, breaking the essential law of the country. That's very tragic. There are many issues on which you are looking at a real conflict developing in the life and the society that we live in. Recently, the Democratic Party launched a tirade of attacks on Donald Trump. You are aware that number of cases that have been filed on him are absolutely, tragically, and sadly, more than 90 cases just to get him off the ballot. And in a recent manipulation, he has been you know, debarred from uh, listing in Colorado on the ballot. Obviously, on a four to three majority in Colorado Supreme Court, uh, he was barred. Of course, this matter will go to the Supreme Court and I suspect Supreme Court will vote overwhelmingly to, to cancel that entire approval of uh, entire decision of the Colorado Supreme Court. But the issue here is that most of the democratic run states like Maine, Wisconsin, uh, other places, they are trying to to remove Trump from the ballot itself. What kind of democratic practice is this to invoke a particular 
think of insurgency when it is not proven yet. You are looking at a scenario in which the Supreme Court was being pushed by Department of Justice to expedite, expedite ruling on whether the president enjoys immunity in, this, in his uh, conduct of uh, elections. The Supreme Court refused to acknowledge or accept that plea from uh, Mr. Smith of Department of Justice saying that it has to follow the normal routine. Remember the 3 a.m. case in India when the terrorist people had forced Supreme Court of India to open at 3 a.m. to give a verdict. This is how the two most prominent democracies, India and the United States, are being hounded by elements that do not value democracy, that do not cherish the values of democracy, but want to impose their will come hell or a high water. We are looking at a real madness going on. You know, you must have been aware of certain things that Mr. Elon Musk was questioned, questioned about, you know, people that he is taking an extreme right approach on. And Disney and other people have said that they will not advertise. You remember his response? The famous response of GFY, you know, when he told the Disney chairman that he said that I have bought Twitter to protect freedom of speech, paying 40 billion plus dollars, and you are going to threaten me with advertisement dollars? Ladies and gentlemen, we are going through a crisis. The two most prominent democracies, India and the United States, are under a barrage of attacks, what is by people who are known as the woke army. I prefer to call them the wokistanis. This is very important issue that we as aware citizens we have to protect and defend our way of life. The other element which is equally important is the candidacy of Vivek Ramaswamy. The, the, that young man has risen, and I have been following him uh, throughout, and his various uh, discussions and you know, town halls that he holds. It is an unequivocal response people are giving to him that he is the potential future. His religion, however, comes in the way. He is a very committed and self-declared Hindu. He admitted it. He also said that he is not going to change his religion to win election. He's very proud of his identity and he's moving in that direction. Also asserting that nobody has monopoly on the values that govern life, that governs life and social process. This is extremely important for us to remember. In America, yes, it is a Christian country. Always a Christian has won the election. And why not? Because this country is a Christian country. Just as in India, Hindus end up being the prime minister of the country, which is nothing wrong, nothing unusual, and nothing, nothing very insidious about it. It's part of the process. However, this country is going through a religious revolution because... Some people are asserting that it is their way of life that must govern. You must have heard about it, that uh, Rashida Tlaib and her coterie of people threatened Biden, President Biden, his own party president, that they will defeat him in the upcoming election in 2024 because of his United States pro-Israel policy. Think about it. How democracy has been put on trial. And America has put, put itself in a mess because of the age old failed policy of pandering and appeasement to certain vote bank groups, playing the vote bank groups in a very unfortunate way. So ladies and gentlemen, I've covered a lot of topics. My, my idea is to give you an awakening in the weekend that many issues you and I have to get actively engaged. If we don't engage, get engaged in our social process, then we get marginalized. And that's not a good thing to happen. If you want to be counted, then you got to vote. If you want to be counted, you are going to stand up. If you want to be counted, then you have to stand up for your beliefs and to protect and defend your way of life. So as I end today, I also wanted to say, there is one very important thing, that America is messing itself in such a way that I believe that it is ending up 
checkmating itself perhaps in a not too distant future because you when we begin in democracy to pander and appease certain groups of people when process and systems begin to get abused then we become the losers when anything there is a definition of poison is called anything in excess when excess of, excess of anything that happens it definitely poisons the life and that's where we have to stand up as i always say satya me vijayate truth must triumph and truth does triumph eventually but only when people like you and i stand up to it because you have to fight for it with these words i end our program today please like subscribe and support our channel because your feedback matters to us and give us the feedback thank you very much and to all those people who are celebrating christmas merry christmas to all of you thank you